banks in Russia and indeed around the world, some 11,000 financial institutions. So what it does is it, um, it essentially closes them off. It's, it's viewed as the financial nuclear option, if you will, the economic nuclear option. European Union uh, countries were slow to do this because it will have economic impacts on their countries as well. But Wolf, this is a dramatic development, a big step from just uh, the last couple days, as well as Germany reversing course and sending weapons into Ukraine. The U.S. last evening, President Biden signing an order to send $350 million worth more of, uh, of weapons into Ukraine uh, for a total of $1 billion just in three last investments alone. So some major developments here. I'm told that President Biden has not spoken today with President Zelensky, but he did speak with him yesterday. He asked him what he needed, and he said he needed military support and extra weapons. That is what is going to be sent. The question, though, how long will it take to get there? But this swift financial system, Wolf, is a very major development tonight. It certainly is. A couple days ago, uh, the president was asked about it and said, uh, made the point that the right. Europeans weren't necessarily on board, uh, but apparently now they are on board, and this is going to really hurt uh, the uh, the Russian uh, banking system. Jeff Zeleny, we'll get back to you at the White House. I want to go to Moscow right now, see if contributor, former Moscow.